Welcome. This video is to go over how to draw Peep and Quack. It's going to be required that you know how to draw these two characters and as well as Chirp. Uh, we're going to be doing a follow along thumbnail. You're going to be doing a thumbnail of your own original story and then a final storyboard uh, nice and cleaned up. And it's going to be really important that uh, you have these characters on model, uh, both in you know how they look and their proportions, but also how they look in relation to each other in size and such. So I'm going to show you my process of building up a drawing, a drawing process. So we're going to make use of uh, that letterhead paper, that 8.5 by 11. I'm going to have it horizontal because I'm going to draw two characters on this one, and you can apply it to uh, chirp. I'm going to do quack and peep. We're going to need a lead pencil, a blue pencil, and a red pencil, and the uh, eraser. Okay, so we'll get started. I'm going to zoom in a little bit uh, on this paper so you can see clearly what I'm up to, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully around there. Uh, one of the things I want to start out with, how I do a drawing, is I don't want to get right into detail. I want to be able to find those proportions first. So to not get into detail, what I like doing is holding my pencil like this. And I do like drawing large. Uh, this, especially when I'm exploring a character. So I've, I have this 8.5 by 11 paper, and I want to use it. I want to fill it. So uh, I know i got to have quack in here. Quack's going to fill in you know, this space here. And I know uh, Peep is going to fill in space here. So I'm going to start with that round ball or that circle, which is a uh, Peep shape. And again, I can keep exploring to find, you know, that nice circle shape and what have you. Um, it's going to be a three quarter view. So I'm going to have a center line kind of following that curvature shape uh, of Peep. And then kind of start working out of his proportions. So if I put a center line on that circle, I know his face, his eyes, everything are in that top half. So if I get some circles going here, I'm going to elongate these a bit just to keep them on model. And I'm going to have him looking up because I'm going to have Quack next to him in a bit. And he's got that little beat. So he's talking. So if uh, we have that circle shape, he's got that sort of plumage whatever at the top. So I've got like that. And he's got relatively long legs. If we come down below this one eye, it's kind of where that one, the first leg starts and the other one starts over here. And then feet. This one we can have virtually straight out, horizontal, but this one we're going to angle downwards. And that's so he looks solid on the ground. So, for example, he's, you know, the one foot goes in this direction, the other one goes in this direction. So it gives a, a good solid uh, construction. So now I can switch over to my fingers on the pencil more into a point. And I can be making use of the eraser or whatever. So again, I'm working in blue. I want to make sure that I've explored each element, that it's placed properly on the character, that the line is where I want it to be. Then I'll go over and lead pencil. get that round. And again, the, all this line work doesn't have to be perfect. This is the ex, uh, where we're exploring the character. Then I'll get into the lead pencil. Once I'm happy with my blue, then I'm going to get into drawing the line that I'm really wanting to be the final line. Again, I'm drawing big, so I'm going to draw these lines very bold since they're very simple characters and if we watch the cartoons and all of the uh, material we have on the character 
we can see they have very simple bold lines. And we want to get that accurate and replicate it properly. I get that plumage over his head. Because again, he's a little chick. And now I'm going to draw that outer body. And I'm going to rotate my paper, which I like to do. To get that rounded shape. In some drawings he's very round, others he's a little bit elongated. And I think it all depends on the pose and the attitude of the character is all important. So that's all good. There we go. And now legs. See the beak and the legs are quite thick. Line width wise. So there we go. So when we break down this character, here is his height. Here is the ground. If we break him down where things land, we can get a good idea of proportions. That's what we want to do. We want to learn the proportions of the character. How much is body? How much is leg length? How much does the plumage uh, stand out? Uh, how much on that body is the beak and eyes? So we can see that it's a very small portion of the body here that contains the face. So those are things we want to consider. So now we're going to do uh, quack. Again, it's kind of mentioning that he's, like body-wise, he comes to around here in relation, and he is a fair bit higher. And maybe, I mean, I'm looking at the height with the hat, like we have uh, with the, the body shape, and then the extra with the plumage here. Same with quack. Now, with quack, He's not a round ball. He's egg-shaped. So we can find that. Again, I'm going to bring my fingers over so that I'm sketching that in properly. And then take a look at legs. He's got quite short legs in comparison. I'm going to blob these on for now. And then again, I'm going to try and find where the rest of him stands out. Now, he does have a hat. So the hat sits into this upper portion. Bring this up. Bring this across. And it's got that portion. So he's got that little sailor hat. And again, that's an accessory they gave the character to just reinforce he's a duck and he's on water. So they give him that kind of nautical addition there of the sailor hat. He's got a bigger and more of an angled beak. And again, I'm having them look at each other, so I'm trying to get eye direction working uh, for them looking at each other. So here we go. So I'm going to pencil that in. So again, in animation, when you're designing when you're storyboarding, you d look for the basic shapes of the character and rough them in. You work on you know, basic uh, expression and such. How are the characters, you know, what mood are the characters are in? And then really looking for those proportions. Again, I'm going to rotate this around. So we don't want to make it uh, stiff and mechanical. We want to get the character working. So these drawings here that I want you to explore with is to find the shape of the characters and get to know the characters really well uh, before we get into thumbnailing and storyboarding so that you don't have to think about their design. You've got a good idea of their design, design and proportion. 
Now the feet, they look like blobs, but I'm giving it a little bit of shape of a web duck's foot. And here I've got a little bit of very subtle of toes here and making sure that it looks like it's flat on the ground. So these things I want you to be looking at, and even though they're very simple characters, you've got to get them right. Sometimes the simpler, the more difficult it is. So again, we want to bring this across so we can see the height of this character and the proportions of that character. So if we take a look as uh, we did with uh, Pete, now with Quack, if we look, here's the overall body. This much is eyes and beak, this much extended for the hat, and now we've got this much on legs, so he has very short legs. Legs are much shorter than on the Peep character. And we can see this body in relation to Peep, that he's that much taller than Peep. So we just want to start working on that size relationship. Okay, so there's my approach uh, for drawing these characters. Please apply that. Do lots of drawing of these characters. And don't forget Chirp, because right here we've got Quack and Peep. We're going to be looking at Chirp as well. It's up to you which of the three or what combination of the characters you want to use in your original story, but getting familiar with all the characters is really important. Okay, so uh, I'll wrap this one up, and I look forward to seeing your submissions and how well you've researched and discovered uh, the shapes and proportions of these characters.